Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Valorant for low end laptops for better FPS, less stuttering and fixing all of your FPS drops. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is installing your game on an SSD. It's very important to know that SSDs are much faster than your normal hard disk drives and installing your game on SSD will help you to fix slow loading and it also helps you to improve your FPS because your game is much faster than it is on a hard disk drive. And to copy your games to your SSD hassle free, I want to introduce you guys to Eza's Disk Copy. And I can't stop myself from telling you guys that this application is a master control for upgrading your disk to another disk hassle free without any corruption this application offers you to backup create a restore point and so many other purposes you can simply download it for free from the link in the description below once you open up the application the interface looks pretty easy and pretty simple over here they offer you three features disk mode partition mode and create a bootable disk now the disk mode offers you to copy your disk data to another disk without any corruption and you can use this to copy your existing hard disk data one to one to your new ssd for upgrading it and how this works is select a disk that you want to copy to another disk so for me this will be disk 4 and i want to copy all of the data to my disk 0 so once that is done it will ask you to auto fit the disk or you can edit the disk layout that means if you want to create a new volume for this copy disk and you can click on this option if you're copying your hard disk to an ssd and it will optimize it for that and simply click on proceed and you can manage your disk cloning very very easily and hassle free second mode is the partition mode which offers you to copy the partition of your disk to another disk so if you want to copy this partition to another disk you can always do that by selecting that partition and then copying it to the next partition and then once again you have this option if your new partition is on an ssd and then simply click on proceed last is your create bootable disk and your bootable disk helps you to recover your windows in case you end up in a bad situation. And the best part about this software is that it is very handy and it is portable so you can use it on multiple devices. It makes complex movement of data hassle free and corruption free. I would definitely suggest you guys to go check out Eza's disk copy to move all of your games and data to your SSD and enjoy faster loading in games and better FPS. So find out Eza's disk copy from the link in the description below. Step number two is checking disk error and corruption this is super important and for that you have to press your windows button and then search for cmd and run this as an administrator once you're over here you have to type in the first command that is sfc space slash scan now this will run a disk check and find out if there are any corruptions on your pc and it will automatically fix it next command is chk dsk space c colon space slash f and this will start checking your disk and if there are any corrupted part or volume on your disk it will automatically fix it you have to simply press in y and make sure to shut down your pc and restart it once again so that it will start checking your local disk c step number three is disk defragmentation and this is also super beneficial for fps for that simply search for defrag and optimize drives on your pc select your local disk c and then click on optimize if that is a solid state drive it will start trimming it and trimming your ssd will help you to increase your performance however if that is a hard disk drive you have to click on analyze it and then click on optimize and it will start defragmenting your hard disk drive also click on change settings and then click on run a schedule recommended frequency daily and then increase task priority once that is done simply click on ok and then close it fourth step is the most important one that is disabling all unwanted startup applications on your pc and for that you have to press ctrl shift and escape on the pc and then go over to startup applications over here in this list you'll find all of the apps installed on your pc and you have to make sure to find out the ones that you do not frequently use and then simply right click on it and click on disable disabling all of this unwanted application will help you to reduce your pc boot time and it will also make sure that less number of processes and applications are running in the background since the boot of your pc so 
each time you open up your game, less processes are running in the background and it will help you to increase your FPS. Next step is deanimating your windows and setting up your virtual memory. And for that, you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Click on adjust for best performance. Then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Once that is done, go to the advanced section and here is how you can set your virtual memory. For processor scheduling, set this thing to programs and for virtual memory, click on change. Over here, deselect automatically manage paging file size and over here for custom size, make sure to set this thing to 1361. To find out the maximum size over here, you need to find out the memory that you're using on your PC and for that search for system information and then look for total physical memory on your PC that is 32 GB for me. Now open up a calculator and then multiply 32 with 1024 and it will give you your memory in megabytes because if we have to put the value in MB. Simply divide this value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size then click on set click on OK. This is how you actually set up your virtual memory correctly. Next step is the best Valorant config settings and for that you have to press your windows and R key together and then search for app data. Once you are here, go over to local and then find out Valorant. Over here, you'll go to saved, then go to config and then you'll find your profile right over here. Simply double click to open it up, go to windows and then you'll find game user settings.ini. Simply right click and open it up with notepad and then over here, you have to copy the following settings. Make sure that your vsync is false and use dynamic resolution is false. For frame rate limit, you have to set this thing to 3 FPS lower than your monitor refresh rate. So if your monitor refresh rate is 60, you have to set this thing to 57. If your monitor refresh rate is 144, you have to set this thing to 141. If it is 240, set this thing to 237. I hope you get the idea. This will help you to get the best FPS possible. Then all the way down, you will find scalability groups and over here your resolution quality set this thing to 90% and then your view distance quality set this thing to 1 anti-aliasing quality 1 shadow quality 1 post process quality 1 texture quality 1 effects quality 1 foliage quality 1 shading quality 1 and once that is done simply press ctrl and s together close this file and then right click on it go over to properties and then make sure to set this thing to read only so the game does not override your setting once that is done simply click on ok Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using exit lag. Exit lag is pro's choice to get rid of packet loss, input latency and so much more. You can simply get exit lag from the link in the description below. Once you open up the application, on the left hand side you'll find over 1000 games to choose from. You can simply search for Valorant and simply add this to your list. Now select the nearest game region to you, that is Mumbai 01 for me and then you'll find your estimated ping over here. Simply click on apply routes and it will one click optimize your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance. It fixes your packet loss, jitter, internet issues, input latency and so much more. The best part about exit lag is a tool section over here which offers you a dedicated FPS boost section where if you enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option and it will help you to increase your FPS by a ton. Once again, exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription. But if you go through my link in the description below, you can get up to 33% off on quarterly subscription. So make sure to go check out exit lag. Links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super important. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Look for your local disk C, click on create and name it Valorant just so you can remember it. I'll recommend you guys not to skip this step because if in case you want to restore all of the settings back to normal, you can always do that without any data loss. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Last and final step is the Valorant laptop optimization fix pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open it up and over here you'll find in five folders. First one is the CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. If you have an AMD CPU, you can run this one. If you have an Intel CPU, you can run this one. Double click to run it and it will be applied on your PC. This registry will help you to give your CPU much better priority to be utilized while you're playing the games. Second folder is the laptop priority for Valorant in which I have left above normal, high and normal priority. By default, your game is set on this priority, but you can actually prioritize your game so it utilizes more resources on your PC that 
ultimately gives you better FPS. And for choosing between this one, you can leave your PC specification down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose over here. Third folder is the RAM optimization and once again, I use 32GB RAM so I need to run this one but I have left a ton of presets for you guys so you can pick one of this and once again, if you don't like it, you can reset it back to default. Simply double click to apply the RAM registry that you have installed on your PC. Next is the registries for laptop in which I have left these registries. You can simply run all of them and it will help you to increase the performance of your laptop in general. Once again, if you don't like it, you can revert them back over here. Last is the programs folder where I have left disable memory compression. You need to right click and run this as administrator. Memory compression actually runs a lot of services in the background which are not very helpful or useful to your PC and disabling it will help you to save that processing power. Next is the disable mitigations and this will also help you to increase your FPS. Third is the MSI Utility V3. You can run this as administrator. And once this program opens up, you have to make sure to find your graphic card over here. Click on the MSI button in front of it and then from undefined, set this thing to high and then click on apply. It will set your GPU affinity to the higher level. Next is the unpack CPU application. You have to double click to run it. Once again, this application helps you to unpack your CPU cores because Windows by default has a tendency to disable the cores that are not being used. And once you're over here, slide this index all the way to 100% and then click on apply. And as you guys can see, all of my cores are now enabled and doing so will also enable the cores of your laptop and it will help you to increase your FPS in the games. Once that is done, close the FPS pack and now hop into the game to enjoy the best experience possible for Valorant on laptop. I hope this video helps you out guys, so make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, if you're not a channel member yet, we have introduced channel membership on the channel so you can show some love and support towards the channel by getting the membership. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.